Hello and welcome back. Thanks for watching. Remember way, way back in 2019 when the Democrats and their media were accusing Donald Trump of politicizing the DOJ against his political opponents and of turning America into a banana republic, much like the Democrats appear to be doing right now against their main political rival just before a major presidential election. Everything they accuse their opponents of is something that they're actively engaged in, which is demonstrated beautifully in this amazing supercut put together by Tom Elliott of Gerbein Media. Media. Make sure to check out his links in the description or pin comment. Now that he's got the right attorney general in position to do it, we now know they really have been trying to gin up criminal prosecutions and criminal investigations into the president's perceived enemies, politically motivated persecution, right? Courtesy of Bill Barr. I'll, I'll roll in the FBI on you. That's how banana republics work, right? The home of the 45th president of the United States has been raided by the FBI. Mr. Trump is using the Justice Department to go after his perceived enemies. I feel worried about the prospect of the Justice Department being used as a tool of this president or any. In our little banana republic, any capable prosecutor can get a grand jury to hand down an indictment of something as innocent as a ham sandwich. Today, an indictment was unsealed charging Donald J. Trump. Breaking news on former President Trump. He's been indicted for the fourth time in five months. Bill Barr, on the president's behalf, is weaponizing the Justice Department to go after the president's enemies. When you win an election, you don't seek to just prosecute the losing side. The president using the Justice Department as a weapon to get what he wants. Department of Justice is totally politicized. Sticking the Department of Justice on political opponents. Threatening to imprison his political rival, Banana Republic style. Trying to exact revenge against all of his enemies. Tin pot dictator in a Banana Republic. Is acting more like a Banana Republic dictator. He's using government resources to go after his political opponent. Um, essentially, we are a Banana Republic. That we are... We are um, seeking to have a bogus in criminal investigation into a political opponent. And that's using the Department of Justice to also target Trump's political opponent for nefarious reasons. This is a massive abuse of power and a betrayal of our values. The President of the United States is targeting a family member of a political opponent. This is a type of thing that happens in a banana republic. And trying to take out a political rival in Joe Biden. Criminally investigating an American political rival, someone the president is worried about losing to in the next election. To investigate uh, my principal opponent or a principal opponent uh, in the upcoming election. Houston, we have a problem. Don't you think that's something that should be investigated when the incumbent political party opens a counterintelligence investigation on the candidate of the opposing party? We know Trump is itching to politicize the Justice Department and the Attorney General has been super shady. The President is weaponizing the Department of Justice to bring cases against his enemies. The Department of Justice is in an existential crisis. Again, it's yet another example of the Justice Department basically losing all of its independence in this administration. This is now about corrupting the next election. And for me, this was crossing the red line. The president who is actively trying to potentially steal the upcoming election. But to try to take out a political rival. The end goal being 2020. Donald Trump and his attorney general are using the Justice Department. The only difference between this and a banana republic is that Trump does not eat fruit. The 2020 election is really the last chance we have to stop our system from fully sliding into a corrupt banana republic. Bill Barr has done everything that Donald Trump has wanted him to do. Yeah. We're living in a banana republic right now. When you start using the Justice Department to go after your enemies, uh, that's that's very, very dangerous. Donald Trump is using the Department of Justice to go after his enemies in any way that he can. Having the head of the chief federal law enforcement agency essentially working on his behalf to investigate a political rival. To investigate a the, the family of a political opponent. Basically, Banana Republic behavior. We're, we're no better than some, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. some Banana Republic. And he's using the abuse of power and every element of the, the presidency to try to do something to smear me. Um, we just have to demonstrate that he will not take power. Oh, that was different. All right, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and also make sure to go check out Tom Elliott's work. He does a great job. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.